won it. <laughs> and um, that will do. And Rob. So uh, over <laughs> to uh, over to Mintra. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have a difficult family name. Thank you very much. So we can start now, right? So, okay. Good morning, everyone from Bangkok, Thailand. Good afternoon here. from Japan. Just. Today, I'm, yeah, so, um, today I'm here with Rob Baring, and we will be presenting our proposal uh, titled English as a Foreign Language Reading Survey 2023. Well, um, basically, um, we came up with this project because we wanted to conduct a global survey to investigate current attitudes and practices when teaching re reading in EFL environments globally. And um, we came up with, you know, uh, five research questions based on our uh, aims of the project. So first, we want to investigate the respondents' attitudes, what they think about teaching reading in English as a foreign language. So starting from a bigger picture, concentrating on teaching reading. And then uh, we also want to know what reading materials are being used in that context. And from that, we're going to be leading into extensive reading. So we want to know how extensive reading is practiced globally and then what types of extensive reading are practiced. And finally, we want to investigate what factors prevent extensive reading from being integrated into the curriculum. So up to this point, Rob, what would, uh, if you want to add anything, please just do so. No, that's fine. That's fine. Keep going. Yep. The, uh, the other slides have other things we need to say. Yeah. Right. Go on. Yeah. So uh, uh, now the rationale of this project is that, you know, uh, as we, I think, as we all know that there are several ER surveys that have already been done, but those surveys tend to, you know, um, explore people knowledgeable about ER what people already know about ER and then um, focusing on the ER practitioners. Well, for this survey, uh, we want to promote, you know, we, we want to con uh, distribute the survey in teacher organizations rather than ER organizations. This is because we don't want to bias the data. We don't want to focus only on people who already know about ER. We want to reach out to people who are outside of our ER families as well. And some of you, or maybe most of you have already read this uh, excellent study conducted by Rob, uh, Thomas Rob, 2022. And he, you know, he investigated um, some literature and gave an overview of how ER has been implemented based on, you know, um, it choose. And then um, in our survey, there will be, oh, I'm sorry about the numbering here. Uh, that will be, I think, seven or 10 sections. So um, basically, the very early um, part of our survey, we will ask about their background, their beliefs about foreign language learning, about teaching, reading, their institutions, reading curriculum, as to get some, you know, baseline information about their context. And then, uh, then following parts of our survey, we will dig deeper into their reading materials that they use, teaching English, teaching reading, and their awareness of the need for ER, approach to ER, and why ER isn't done in that context. And then um, we will be giving their ER links and further information if they, they want that. And um, for those of you who would like to take a look at how our uh, preliminary um, survey looks like or our proposal, you can scan the QR code and check, check it out. And mm -hmm. if you would like to help us, please, um, you know, we, we are looking for people who help us to spread the word, tell us about people and organizations to con contact, pilot the survey, translate it into other languages. Again, this is going to be a global survey. So, you know, uh, we, we want help when it comes to translation in local languages. And then we're looking for people who can 
later help us with the statistics as well. So if you are interested in being part of helping us, please scan the QR code and I'm going to send you the form shortly in the chat box. I've already done that, Ajahn m i n t r a Oh, okay. Thank so you. I've just put two links in there. One is the actual proposal itself. Hopefully, that's uh, you have full access to have a look at it. You're at the viewer access, not edit access. Um, the second link is a Google form. If anybody would like to help, um, let's just go through them each one by one. So I'll just share my screen uh, for a second or two, and I can show you um, the uh, survey. So this is uh, the document that a j a m i n t r a and myself uh, have been working on. Um, just very quickly, you can see some of the things that we've been talking about. Um, this the research questions. The rationale is there. This is the image that a j a m i n t r a showed you. And as she said, our focus here is to try to see how extensive reading fits within the larger picture. Um, uh, Excuse wait, wait, me. This yeah, it's not, not sharing, sharing, is it? Yeah, it's no. not sharing. Just a second. It was sharing. Now it's not. What's going on here? I think. Is that okay? We sharing properly now? Yeah. Okay. I, anyway, so the idea is we try to see how ER fits within the larger picture of of reading. So, what we'd like to do is to try to approach um, the reading organizations, language teaching organizations. Um, any institution that is interested in language learning, particularly of English, um, we want to see how it's how ER is placed within the global picture. Um, as a j a m i n t r a said, we don't want to just ask ER people. That's biasing our data. We want to find out what are the roadblocks, what's actually preventing ER being conducted. And as you can see from the table here, Tom has already set out some, but we want to see whether there's. Local differences, whether in some places there are uh, different factors which prevent ER, um, and then after we've got the, this data, then what do we do about it? You know, do we set up um, partnerships with publishers to get material done? Do we help companies set up um, uh, maybe companies to distribute materials? Do we uh, set up uh, Workshops and so on and so on. What do, what do we do to actually help this? So this is our timeline here, as you can see. Um, we're going to launch it hopefully in January. Um, we between August and uh, December we have a time that where we're going to be doing some piloting. We need some people who would help um, identify uh, issues with some of the questions. The sur survey I'm going to show you very briefly in a minute. Um, by no means do we say this is finished. This is just indicative of what we're trying to do. Uh, we'd like input from other people who've maybe done something similar to this before, um, and try to get as many people involved. Um, we're going to get permission from the um, the uh, the board, the approval board from c h u l a l o n g o n University. This is part of a j a m i n t r a s requirement for her to be involved in the project. So our hope is that at um, World, Con World Congress six next year. Uh, we'll be able to report at least some of these data. Um, so we're going to, uh, as you can see, some questions we can delete. The ones in orange we may or may not drop. Uh, acceptance. Uh, we need to have something about the background for themselves and for their institution. Where do they teach? Um, and about the class, how many students they have, what's their amount of time they spend on the language, their beliefs about language learning. So this is quite important, I think, to find out. What their beliefs are, so we can sort of contextualize how they see reading within the larger picture of teaching languages. And you can see here, this is incomplete. Then we have a section about teaching and reading. How do we actually teach reading? And then we want to find out about their particular curriculum. How do they actually deal with reading in their curriculum? Um, how much time is done reading in and out of class? What type of materials do they have? Um, how do the students access this? Um, and so on and so on and so on, and then finally their beliefs about extensive reading. So here the survey kind of splits those people who know about ER. We ask them questions about ER. Those who don't know about it, they have a section that teaches them about extensive reading, what it is, and then see whether or not they'd be interested in doing it. Um, so we've got a sort of the, the the survey sort of goes in two different directions. So those who've said yes. We know something about extensive reading. How do they do it? What do they do? What activities do they do? 
uh, and if not, why not, and so on. So this is a very rough kind of outline um, about what we're doing. So we'd appreciate anybody's input into this. If you are interested in wanting to um, give us some feedback, um, please do so. Uh, the feedback might be helping piloting or spread the word, um, helping with statistics possibly, translating to other languages. We would hope if we can get this in multiple languages would be great, proofreading it in some way. Or if you know of a language teaching organization in your community that you think would uh, benefit from being contacted by us, or you'd like to help in some way to spread the word, please feel free to contact us. If you would just like to take the survey when it's ready, that's perfectly fine. Um, but as I say, our main target is to try to find people who don't know about extensive reading. So um, is that all we have to say at the moment, Ajamintra? Yeah. So we have a few minutes for um, comments, questions, complaints. Go ahead. The links are in the chat box. It's not showing up on my Zoom. Kurt, can you see it now, Kurt? Yeah, I think that yeah, was yeah. Th that was okay. back at the beginning, Rob. No okay, problem. that's fine. Yeah, there was some reason when I scrolled down, it suddenly went off, and I'm not quite sure why. Right. Mark added the links to your uh, Azilla profile, your session profile as well. So okay, that's great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. So, any comments? Anybody would like to? We envisage this to be quite a long-term project. This is dated 2023. But we're going to probably collect the data again five years from now, five more years after that, and so on and so on and so on, so that we can um, we can get data over a longer period of time, see how things are moving. Yeah. But this is just an initial shot. Just as I mentioned, and I have spent a few hours talking about this. Um, the issue we have, of course, is length. How do we get good data without basically um, um, overdoing it? And uh, this is taking too long. So. There's, there's a, a bit of a problem there. But anyway, we're really, really trying to target those people who don't do extensive reading. Why not? So does anybody have any comment? No? Well, does, I, think, I think it's very ambitious, but worthwhile yeah. endeavor. I hope you guys yeah. are successful. And uh, it would be good if we can get more information to why you know, why it's not being done in various places. Right. Um, find patterns. It's in, this, in the somewhat larger context of this, um, we hope uh, when we do have some good data here that we can maybe approach the Southeast Asian uh, Ministries of Education, um, CIMEO, which is in Southeast Asia, it's part of ASEAN, and present the data to them and sort of say, look, here we are, you know, Southeast Asian Ministers of Education. Um, this is the result. This is what we're finding out. Is there something we can do with this? So we hope to be able to get um, contact with the um, Minister of Education to try and get some changes. And this is sort of, uh, we're trying to find out how ER is, uh, is or is not practiced. Why is it not practiced? So we can use this as uh, evidence for um, uh, wanting to hopefully get some policy changes. We're very ambitious, but uh, let's just see how far we can go with this. Silence. Ajamin Tony, is there anything else you'd like to add? So, well, we, we hope that um, some of you here, or maybe most of you, would like to help in some ways. Because as we all know, that this is an, a very ambitious project, but I think it's going to contribute a lot to the field. So, um, yeah, so your support will be really appreciated. Yeah, so we'd like to spread, as I say, globally as much as we can. So uh, neither of us have many contacts in sort of um, Latin America, for example, parts of Africa, Middle East. We really want to find out what's happening there as well. So we hope that our affiliate organizations can um, spread this um, through their local organizations and, and maybe translate it into various languages as needed. So. Look forward to hearing your uh, update next year. 
At well, the start. Might, yeah, depending on how things go, it might take us a couple of years before the data actually gets in the way we want it to be from various places. We will certainly get some initial data next yeah. year. Yeah, I'm not saying it'll be complete, but it'll be good. It'll be good to see a year from now how much progress you've made. Hopefully, yeah, you know, something that we can uh, keep us moving. Yeah, so please feel free. There's a survey here. If you'd like to help out in some way or you've got some comments, if you've looked at the survey, you have some advice about any changes or additions, deletions you'd like to see, you can write them on this form. Um, you can leave your name if you wish. That's on the next form, by the way. So leave your name if you wish. If you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. But if you're interested in getting, uh, getting in touch and helping out in some way, um, we'll be holding probably some sessions uh, maybe later this month, early next month, um, probably online, and um, do what we can to improve the survey. We'll also be approaching the uh, Extensive Reading Foundation Board. Uh, we may need a bit of funding from time to time. Um, I assume we have to maybe pay somebody to do the statistics, for example, or whatever. So if we do need that, we might approach the ERF and see whether we can get a little bit of funding from there if we need it. But that will be part of the discussions we'll have later this month and early next month. So let's wait and see. There's a comment in the, the promising comment in the chat for Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Lingors, for wanting to cooperate. Um, so please, could you fill out that reading survey form that's in here? And uh, we'll get in contact with you and then find out how we can uh, cooperate. So that'd be really great. Thank you so much for helping out, uh, Mira. Lingors. I, I think that actually makes a good point. I mean, uh, as you know, Ling Lingors is, is not Mira. Lingors is, is a, is yes. a um, private organization, yeah. private or uh, commercial organization. And that may be the key in some places is to partner with an organization that um, like Lingors or, or in other countries, uh, if though, you know, if, if you don't have, you can't necessarily create an organization like that, but partner with organizations that might, you know, have a strong motivation to find this information out as well. And I'm thinking, you know, great, graded reader distributors uh, in various countries. Yes, in that, the problem with that, of course, is going to bias the data because they already do you know, graded reading. We might really want to talk to your average teacher, your average Jane, your average Joe. No, 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 I'm sorry, you, you, mis you misunderstood what I meant. I meant they could, like, I believe Lingors is going to connect you guys with teachers all over Mongolia. That's what yes. I'm guessing. That's, that's right. That's yes. what I meant. Not not to get the information from distributors. Have distributors who have right something to benefit in the long term if this is successful, um, to yeah. do the legwork for you in different countries. Yeah. Let's wait and see. Okay, we're up for time. I think is that right, uh, Jackie? Um, our next session begins at twelve thirty. So okay, great. Yeah, so you still have time. Um, right, if you that's fine. If anybody does have a question, fine. Or, oh, that's great. What we'll do is we'll probably move to our breakout room and we'll sit there and see if everybody wants to come. We'll give you guys a little bit of break before the next session. Thank you for your time, everybody. Thank you very much. A round of applause for uh, Mitchell. Thank you very much. Everything. Commendable, you much. commendable project. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you in the breakout room. Thank you very much. Right, and uh, for those of you who are still uh, in the main room, um, our next session begins, as I said, at 12.30, um, and the title is Making Avid Readers Out of Reluctant Readers, uh, Factors That Motivate Some Students to Finally Embrace ER on <laughs> I love the word finally in the title. So <laughs> that's, that's very good. Okay, so um, until then, you have a few minutes if you want to grab a cup of tea or some lunch or breakfast, dinner, whatever time it is for you. <laughs> um, you have a few moments. So, yeah. Thanks, Jackie. Thank you, Paul. It's lovely to see you again today. <laughs> Yeah. Helen, are you here?
Maybe not. I sent her a message, but some people, I, I often don't check. Yes, yes, I am here. I'm here. Okay, I, I sent you a text message. Something else there. Did you? No okay. It's still, it's 7.22 here, so I'm still a little bit sleepy, I'm afraid. <laughs> so 